Tony Bunchett with gold trim. He weighed in at once one draw with six wins coming by way un empate con seis ganadas por la vía del no. El fighting out of the red corner, wearing one loss and one draw with one and the current WWE. Uh -huh. The number two, the remake of the year in 2010, white, or it's kind of a silverish white. And right away, you hear Mexico. Make up a weight right after this fight, Ivan Calderon. Calderon is by for boxer, certainly the better tech, relentless in his pressure. And that's all the ring there, Al, not get tied up in the ropes like he allowed Segura to do to him in their first battle. But right away, he's on his bicycle. Stick and move, stick and move. Obviously, instead of fighting on the inside, he wants to hold, get Samuel Vera to break them, then move. Relentless. He's going to do whatever it takes. My leg work for this, but was able to run, training, and I am going to tap on all that for this particular fight. Calderon trying to establish the jab and has done that to some extent here. Maybe even a point deducted if he's too blatant in that holding. But he can do that until that happens, and yes. I think that's going to be his plan. Absolutely. He works with Felix Pagan Pintor, his trainer, also Jose Sanchez, and they've added Miguel Diaz. Now. Segura himself has landed some pretty good jabs, and there he's right hooks. But that's a six-inch reach. In. You know, Segura's had his moments as well. And moving, and moving while he's throwing that stiff jab. The Segura starts from down low there, Al. Makes it really hard to see. Right there, Calderon almost got... ...for round number two of La Revancha dos the rematch of the fight of the year in 2010. Giovanni Segura with a distinctive trunk taking on Ivan Calderon. Calderon coming to Mexico to try to get his title back. The difference also is Calderon in this fight, and you did that first fight, is jabbing body work by Segura. And of course, that's what hurt Calderon badly in the last fight. And you see now, Segura, he's willing to pay the price out. Yeah. He's willing to come in and say, you know what? Hit me. You know, uh, another good body shot by Segura and Calderon coming back. Segura said, you know, it's a misnomer to think Calderon can't punch at all. He said, he hurt me with a couple of shots. I just was able to walk through them. Calderon that might be effective. Makes Segura go look at the heck of a heck of a go on Calderon in this fight himself on me. The question will be whether he can do it over the course of a 12 round fight and whether Segura will catch him with something that will change. Segura's still committing to doing body work, but you know, say la vie is the way he looks at it. A lot of good exchanges by both fighters. It's like we picked off and picked up in round This has not been bad either. Yeah. The thing with Segura is, you know, he flat out will tell you, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the best, but I am going to get there. And eventually by the end of the fight, I'm going to find my way to go ahead and get to, get to you at the, some point. Good body work. Now he's got the warning. What would be unfortunate is if it prevents him. He's got to be careful, but he can't abandon that. He knows to do. This is what he's been trained to do, and he's comfortable. Switching the right big jab in the process. These two cannot make a bad fight, and this first even shot, there's a shot. And that was the low blow, one of the low blows I think that he was referring to. Number three of a scheduled Giovanni Segura taking on Ivan Calderon, Segura the champion. Looking for his title, second round now that Calderon did, switch to a right-hander. Yeah, and, uh, and it was interesting for him in the past, and it worked when he did it. But again, he's very adept, and I don't think he slows down one bit. When he switches from left or right, there's that behind that. The fight is that he can afford to come in and absorb some punches because he doesn't think Calderon is ultimately going to hurt him. But again, also, we made the point about the weight. Did the losing of the weight debilitate Segura enough? Now look at him. Here's Calderon against the ropes, getting hit with body punches. That's not what he wants. He was hit with a good right hook to the cost him in the last fight. And he's standing on the ropes again. And uh, this is about the time when he started doing it yeah. in the first fight. Big bombs landing by Segura. Low blow again by Segura. And that answers your question. Is that going to yeah. deter him? Absolutely not. And now he's mixing it up, going up top with it. Oh. Those are low blows. But then he took one was low and the other one right on the chin. That's a that's an official knock. Matter of time, when he was going to force his will, and that's it. 
and there he was. And here you'll see the body work that he did. Some a little low, but most are legal. And that one, that right hook to the body, leading into this fight, he said the punches that hurt me the most were the body punches by Segura. And almost in the same way that he dropped in the first yeah. fight is the way he drops in this particular fight. Very similar. And Ends up taking it. comes in there, and he was not even going to take the count. This was over. Gio, that right hand to the body was just... Giovanni Segura retained.